out of all the thousands of Navy SEALs that have come and gone in the last few decades, Chris Kyle, who wrote the uh, modern Navy handbook on sniper uh, training and who put out the big News Corps, Fox News produced book, America's Deadliest Sniper. Well, guess what? He got shot to death yesterday outside Dallas with one of his neighbors. They were trying to help another Marine, another member of the Navy, uh, who reportedly had PTSD. Won't that fit right into the script? Just perfect. And we're going to get into some of those uh, news reports. ABC News uh, and others are just salivating right now. In fact, that's the ABC News report right there uh, about how you know, this just shows the veterans are dangerous and the veterans have got guns, and they've got to be dealt with. And we were told a few years ago, hey, the veterans are going to be the new terrorist, and we've got to take their guns. They're all mentally ill. doesn't matter that statistically it is one of the rarest ways to die to have a veteran kill you. Every time they have one go postal, they are going to hype it like it is the end of the world and call for the rest of the public to be disarmed because of the people the government trained to kill going out and killing people and making them serve four, five, six, seven, eight tours, which they've never done in Vietnam, Korea, World War II, World War I. You made people serve one tour, and you got them out after that because they tried it in World War I and World War II. They started killing themselves and killing other people. But you know, don't worry, we have army psychiatrists and psychologists to put them on Prozac, uh, family of drugs, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, which on the inserts say make you have mania, megalomania, mass murder, and what, a 15 times increase in the 1981 trials of Prozac? They knew all along. 15-fold increase in violent suicide. But see, you take a trained killer like a Marine, they're not going to commit suicide. They're going to take people along with them. And so now... Uh, you've got the machines trained by the globalists to go out and be killing machines, killing each other. Uh, and they think of you as machines. They tell you they love you at the Super Bowl and nobody's better than the troops. Well, behind closed doors, they train the police and the rest of the military that you are the number one threat and you're the enemy. And then by extension, they connect veterans to all gun owners saying that we're the new terrorists. In fact, I have an article up at Infowars.com where Jesse Jackson, but it's also CBS News, you name it, well, you see it on the news. Gun owners are terrorists. We're Klan members. We're Nazis. We're, we're the new threat. And isn't that script working perfectly? They knew they'd have hundreds of thousands of troops coming back who served on average four tours. They knew they'd put them on these drugs. And they knew some of them would go haywire. And when they do, they're going to blame everybody else and all the other veterans. And they're going to blame the general public and say, we're the new terrorist. And now you see that being billed. And they're saying, forget about Al-Qaeda. I saw a CNN article today. Forget about Al-Qaeda. They're not the threat. Again, it's the veterans and libertarians and conservatives. So there you go, all you conservatives that say get rid of the Bill of Rights and Constitution. You know, it, it, we're only doing it to kill Hajis, to kill Arabs. You were always the target, and I warned you for 11 years. And now our government runs Al-Qaeda publicly in Libya and in Syria and other areas. The real scandal is 22 military veterans commit suicide every single day. I saw a number last year where sevenfold people were committing suicide for every death in Afghanistan. Troops in Afghanistan were committing suicide, seven for every person that actually got killed. There you go. They're making them serve tour after tour after tour after tour. So they've had some go haywire over there and commit mass murders, like Sergeant Bales, remember that, who it turned out was under psychiatric care. Oh, a guy with his foot blown off under psychiatric care. Let's force him back into service. And then when he goes haywire, we'll charge him and try to give him life in prison or the death penalty. When, when the guy was out of his mind and is absolutely uh, innocent by reason of insanity. I mean, give me a break. They put him on mass murder suicide pills and then they wonder. And it says, on the insert, makes you do this. And then they, they blame the individual. I mean, look at that guy. They've all got that thousand-yard stare. And I'm trying to find his military records, but reportedly he'd seen a lot of duty. What, three, four, five tours? Oh, yeah. So this is the reality. Now, some are saying, Alex, this is probably staged. And you know what? Uh, they staged uh, the Jessica Lynch story, and you can type in Jessica 
Lynch uh, strange death or J Jessica Lynch murders, and you will see that four of her unit who were saying the story wasn't true were all killed, shot, or run off the road or drowned, but two shot and the other one in a car, the other drowned, within a week of doing that. And then she went public and said, it's all fake. They told me a lie. Jerry Bruckheimer was telling us how to produce it. It's all lies. Yes, I'm not kidding. Look, look this up. You can't make this up. It is just incredible. So remember Jessica Lynch, Private Jessica Lynch, and how fake that entire thing was. And don't forget that there is uh, Army psychological operations operating uh, domestically here in the United States. My only point is we don't know the truth. I mean, this probably wasn't a staged event, but because it could be, and they have a history of staging things, you don't know. You see, here's the issue. Chris Kyle was in the lawsuit with Jesse Ventura. The suit's going ahead. Jesse has all these eyewitnesses that nothing happened. Kyle has nobody. And it looks like Jesse was going to win. You can pull that up in the news. And so someone who was basically put up to this by the Pentagon to discredit Jesse so he could never run for president, this is exactly how they operate. And then when the big lie gets exposed, like Pat Tillman or Jessica Lynch, they can't have their PR darling, Jessica Lynch or Pat Tillman, live. But in the case of Lynch, when her unit was getting killed, so dead man tell no tales, she was smart enough to come out and say, Pentagon told me a lie. It was all made up. And so she's living. And so that may be a motive for this, or they may have taken one of their already mentally ill wind-up toys they've got under government psychiatry uh, and used them. And we've seen this before, just like the Aurora, Colorado shooting was under DARPA funding and a mind control program, and it had an Air Force psychiatrist who'd been the head of entire programs and entire bases assigned to him. And then he told people he was un under mind control. And then he was on five psychotropics that later came out. I'll cover this all on the radio more today, coming up in just a few hours, 4 o'clock, about two hours from now. And uh, the audio links are Infowars.com or on your local AM and FM station. But this is a serious situation. Pat Tillman was a hero, gave up his you know, high-paying NFL job and everything, and then found out that it was government drug dealing. It was all a fraud. He was going to come back and blow the whistle. And so they fragged him. They shot him and then covered it up, but later it came out that the, the uh, officers uh, doing the the, the, um, the the colonel and people doing the autopsy pointed out that he was killed up close, and it was all a big cover-up. Of course, they told you he died charging uh, up a cliff, battling Al-Qaeda. Remember that? That's the story they gave you. He died charging up a cliff, battling Al-Qaeda. Didn't that fit the script a little bit better for everybody? But it was all a fraud. So, yes, this could be staged. But you know what? It's staged one way or another. Because, this is important, they put these people in a position of hard combat, multiple, multiple, multiple tours, knowing that'll make people go insane. And they put them on drugs to make them go insane, which they know makes them more unstable. And then they demonize all veterans as a group because of what the globalist social engineers have actuaried out and broken down. And then they demonize gun owners and conservatives and libertarians as a whole, saying that we are terrorists because we are gun owners, and that, and that everyone is in danger because of our basic right, when we're in greater danger because of the military people that have been driven way past what they should have been able to handle. And you can go to Infowars.com if you want and uh, see that report where Jesse Jackson comes out and says gun owners are terrorists and the rest of it. This is the new talking point. People better take it serious. They're not playing games. They're going to try to cause a civil war in this country, and they've already dubbed Obama as the new Lincoln. All right, Alex Jones signing off for Infowars.com.